speak the truth, I would swear my life on it. Duke Iyer has become that horrible man's puppet, dancing in the palm of his hand. What? Wait. And what man? Stewardship? Not but a farce to pacify the masses. Oh, oh, is he talking? Wait, is she talking about like the whole Edergard situation? Talus and his ilk are the ones who truly hold the reins of this empire. Okay, yeah, she is talking about that. I almost forgot that would happen. the ages we saw at Arian Road. So Duke Iyer's under their control too. Yes, it goes that deep, my guy. Yes. And what's more, though you may find it difficult to accept. What? Talus and the former Lord Arundel are one and the same. I overheard as much cross his own lips. Wait, didn't we already know this? And it's as we fear. No, no, we just knew. And what of Edelgard? It's uh, we already we knew the what was slid in the dark. We didn't know he was part of it yet. We just we knew they were working together. It's hard to keep track of what they know versus what I already know, considering you know three uh, houses and shit. Her Majesty, I cannot explain what has befallen her. Magic shit. She does as Duke Iyer bids her, and nothing more. Though of course, Talus is the one whispering those orders to him from the shadows. Yeah, cause he's a bitch. She follows his every word, issuing his orders in her name. It's my control. But they have to know yeah. that. Surely I have shared secrets enough to earn my salvation. Oh, is she snitching? Oh, I thought she was our spy. She's just snitching. That will require formal deliberation. You may await your verdict from the inside of your cell. Burn, bitch. What? No, wait, there's more. Please. I like seeing Dimitri landing. Like, you go, king. How much of Fenya's prattling do you believe? I mean, all of it. Certainly not all of it. What? But a great deal of what she said rings true. All of it's true. Lord Arundel's contributions to the church must have ceased because he was no longer Lord Arundel, but Talus instead. Yeah. It's almost identical to how the librarian Tomas was replaced by that dark What mage. do you what 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 are you not believing from? Because everything she said was like 10 for 10. At the time the donation stopped, Lord Arundel was living in Fargus, having fled from the empire. Okay. So Cornelia may have been the one who arranged to have Lord Arundel replaced. Oh, was that when he was there with Edelgard as a kid? They were both deeply involved in the tragedy of Dusker. Yes, cuz they saw. But to what end? Why would the Empire abduct the Queen Consort? Well, wait, okay. So we know Ilgar killed her mom, and her mom may have played a plan in the tragedy of Duskar, which I still don't know if I believe. I feel, I feel like that's a lie, but like, if she did, maybe that's why the Empire wanted her back. There's no way of knowing those answers now. Just to keep it more sure Thomas hidden, you know, conspiracy full theories and shit. Into his activities. What I can say is everything would be different if not for those mages. Yeah, you are not wrong on that. That is 110%. My father, his knights, the citizens of Dusker. None would have met the fate that befell them. Yeah, you're not wrong. <sighs> oh, to do. No doubt they had a reason for what they did. A sense of justice that rationalized their savagery. No. Even if to no one but themselves. No. Some people would say yes, but no, no, no. They're just assholes. They're just bigoted assholes. But we have the right to seek our own justice for those actions in the way we see fit. By the sword. Hell yeah! We will prevail, Your Majesty. And we will finally avenge the dead. Hell yeah! I mean, let's not go too revenge priest. Because that ends badly, but Once yeah! Once Talus is gone, we will finally be able to put all this behind us. And look toward a new future. And a wedding! Am I right, Dimitri? Am I right, Dimitri? Am I right, Dimitri? Indeed. You will have no satisfaction while these demons still draw breath. I love the fact that they're gonna fuck up those sons of a dog. That is so perfect. I always thought that was a, that was a bit that was missing in the Blue Lines route. Because, like, you can do it in the Golden Deer route, and it just feels like extra for that, because, like, those that's the Dark 
are so involved in Vargas and shit. I mean, I'm sure they're doing stuff in the Alliance too, but we don't see that much of it. It's mostly Vargas. So I always thought it was a little weird that Golden Deer got to fuck them up, but the Blue Lions never got to fuck them up. If we ever hope to greet those we've lost with our heads held high, we must settle So the fact this that we get to do it now, now is so cathartic. Yes, let's go slay then these we are bitches. All in Let us go. Yeah! Oh, there goes Anne. New support conversations available. We'll do that later. Alrighty, I did it. But we have a ton of supports to go through, so we might not get to it in this episode, depending. Um, uh, Nova and Geralt's one I'm very interested about, so we're just going to head right into that one first. Very curious. Because they never got any supports in three houses, and there was a lot they could have talked about. Hey, I was looking for you. Didn't think I'd find you down by the river. Uh huh. That's an awful lot of blood on your cloak. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know he's a mercenary, but that's too fucking casual. I thought soaking it in the water would help get it out. Did it? I don't know. That fight went on for a while. Oh, okay, he was in the fight. Blood doesn't come out so easily, even if you start washing it right away. Get her a new coat. If you ask me, it's more trouble than it's worth. See? Get another one, right? What, is it your favorite? I do, but I'd still like to use this one if I can. Mm. <sighs> I made the same noise. Something wrong? Uh-oh. Hmm? Oh, sorry. It's just... You reminded me of Citri, of your mother, back when we really? first Really? Really? Already we're getting into Citri. Okay, okay. We didn't even hear her name out of your fucking mouth for like 20 hours, but okay. okay. How so? There was this one time when she was trying really hard to get some stains out of a handkerchief. She had your same quiet composure and everything, and when I asked her if she had another one, you know what she told me? Is that because of the heart thing? She just turned and said, If I could still use this one, I'd rather not throw it away. Well, that's not exactly the same. Maybe not. But I still it's see pretty so much, much the same. You. It's pretty much the same thing. It's not the exact thing word for word, but that's basically the same thing, Byleth. When I was first getting to know her, I never saw her laugh or cry. Okay, that's definitely because of the heart thing. Just like someone else I could mention. You know, you never really used to talk about her, but you've been doing it a lot lately. Why is that? Why not talk about her at all? Like, even if you were, like, trying to, like, you know, no secret thing, but, like, why not even just be like, oh, your mother did this and that, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Now he's just, just talking about her all out, lily dally about it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm feeling a little regret for dragging you into the mercenary life. I mean, you didn't really have much of a choice. You never had a place to call home. And you don't have any friends your age. Hmm. And it's been one bloody battle after another since this war broke out. Yeah, but we're, like, crushing it. If she were still alive, your life would be entirely different. Yeah, but we don't know if it'd be better, though. You'd be with her. And things would be... peaceful. Mm, no. I don't regret my life here with you. Dad. I might not have a home or friends, but you've always been there for me. You could have been like, oh, you're my home, Dad. Like, damn. Living by the sword suits me just fine. And I've had no shortage of allies. So. You're right. There's no cause for regrets. What? You say I love you, Dad. God damn. You really are just like her, though. You know that? You finally get to have your dad around, and you're just like fucking it up. Uh, Violet's got anybody else? I can see that she can not. Oh, thank God she doesn't support Dimitri. Uh, who else does she support with? Is it just Gerald and me? It's just Gerald and me. I mean, she can get the other ranks for everyone else, but she doesn't get to talk to them. Damn! I mean, I guess it makes sense considering they already talked in like in houses, but like that still kind of sucks. Oops. 
Damn. Alright, let's go to Catherine next. Catherine is me! Hey! It's with me. <sighs> what a pain. Oh, we're not off to a good start, are we? Everything alright, Catherine? Thought I saw Count Karen a second ago. Who? Yes, I just had to talk to my Oh, that was her dad. God damn it, there's so many fucking, like, side characters, and I can't tell what the relation is with the other characters. He wanted to request some of the church's soldiers as reinforcements, but I don't have the authority to make that decision. But aren't you the captain? For the life of me, I can't understand why he'd come to me for something that only Lady Rhea or Dimitri could help him with. But you're the captain. You can't give him something? Oh, wait, wait. Count Karen is your dad? Oh, Rose didn't know. I didn't. Rose didn't know either. Oh, oh, I feel less bad now. Yes. Huh. I could have sworn you knew. Let's go with no. But to be fair, there's a war going around. Well, I guess you do now. I am, in fact, the daughter of Count Karen of Fargus. I had no idea. Oh, now that you mention it, you do bear their crest. Yeah, that kind of should have clued you in. Things are complicated with my family, to say the least. But basically, I'm keeping my distance from House Karen for the time being. Yeah, I fucking bet. Right now, I am Catherine, Knight of Saros. No connection to any house or the kingdom. You still have a little connection to your homeland. I see. So you intend to keep serving the church going forward? She but sure what does. What do you think you would do if the church and kingdom broke their alliance? Why the fuck would you put that out in the universe, bitch? <laughs> a foolish question. Obviously, I would side with Lady Rhea. It's not a matter of kingdom or church. My allegiance and my sword lies with Lady Rhea and her alone. Yes, we know, Catherine, you're super down for her. Though, I don't get course, why. I would prefer not to fight my friends and family from back home. So it would be ideal for me if the kingdom and church could play nice forever. Hey, we can do that. The Archbishop's personal sword, huh? You've got one heavy blade. Hey, you're Dimitri's personal sword. What about you? What are you fighting for here? Dimitri. Uh, I mean, my friends. Or is it one of those, I just tripped and fell into it kind of stories? Don't fucking say that you did this. I fight for... <laughs> I fight for my friends. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry, but that's just... That's fucking ice line. God damn. I'm not gonna say I need the money. Fuck that. I fight for I'm my friends. I'm doing this for my friends and comrades. I want to make things better for everyone. I really can. wanted her to say the line. I really wanted her to say the line. Huh. That wasn't what I was expecting. You're pretty loyal for someone who came up as a mercenary. Man, what to give me a backhanded compliment, bitch? Aside from that, you might be right. Maybe my coming to Fargus was pure chance. Uh, shut the fuck up. It was not pure chance. I chose it for you. You're welcome. A civil war broke out in the capital right after I joined the Officers Academy. By the time things died down... We get to fucking kill from this! I decided to close the school. That's when Dimitri put me in my current role. You're welcome. Sounds like you've had a rough go of things, too. But you're commanding Kingdom troops now, right? That's a pretty good step up. Thank you. I say I do that my as best. long as you're living life in a way that would make your past self proud, that's enough. I'm gonna be queen in, like, two chapters, so suck that past me. Make my past self proud, huh? But you were imagine this life of luxury. Easier said than done, I know. But it can't hurt to try, right? Just keep challenging yourself. He'll get there eventually. That was pretty nice. We just had a nice casual chat. Anyone else? Oh, Shamir gets one too. Oh, and Gerald's. Okay. Interesting. You have a net with me. Oh, and with Dimitri. Why? It seems you cannot even this bond at this time. Why? It feels like it looks like it's full. Did I just miss my chance? I mean, that's a bummer, but oh well. Mm, Rose or Dimitri? Rose or Dimitri? Rose or Dimitri? I think Rose is the one where they're doing that song one, so I kind of want to see how that's going to end. Hey, Annette. What are you up so late for? Some kind of research? 
Oh no, it's nothing like that. I've been working on this. Is it a new song? Uh, it is a new song. It just looks like a bunch of little black bugs jumping around on a page. Oh, it's music notes. I was gonna be like, what the fuck? Excuse you. It's sheet music. I have no idea how you could possibly think the notes look like bugs. I mean, if you have nothing else to compare it to, I could see the bug comparison. Sorry, sorry. It's just, I don't think I've ever actually seen sheet music before. Does this that mean makes you're sense. writing a new song? Ooh. Mm -hmm. A lovely tune popped into my head today, so I wanted to jot it down before I forgot. All right. She's going to go back to it. Ask if you can hear it. I want to hear it. Do you mind singing it for me? I'd love to know what kind of song it is. Please? Nope. Sorry. I'm not done writing the lyrics yet. I have a rough outline, but that's about it so far. Damn it. Still, I want to write something happy. A song that'll make people feel good when they sing it. Aww. That sounds great. I can't wait till it's finished. Should I have a concert for everybody? Like... Just like, uh, cheer up the troops and hey, shit. Um, uh, do you remember the song I wrote about that night? Yes. Right? Oh, you mean the horse with the human? <clears throat> yeah, the song about the night. Of course. Well, I heard someone singing it again. Did it bum you out, or do you like? Are you cool with it now? Look, Annette. I know you're upset. I let it slip, but what's done is done. That's not a good apology, bitch. I didn't mean it like that. I... I heard a mercenary singing it to himself as he died. Oh. <gasps> Holy fuck. Holy fuck, that was not the turn I thought it was gonna do. Damn! He was covered in blood and could hardly breathe. Yet he had this great big smile on his face as the words crossed his lips. Way to go out on a high note, am I right? Am I right? Oh, I'm going to hell. He must have been in so much pain. But still, he just kept smiling. There you Is this a win for her? I can't tell. Probably thinking back to all the times he spent drinking and singing with his friends. Oh, fuck. This is so Soldiers depressing. Soldiers always throw the wildest parties after a battle. The sort of thing where you can find knights and mercs alike locking arms and belting out tunes. Uh, Maybe. Anyway, I've this been is such a fucking depressing conversation, and the music's all nice passed. and cheery. I never wanted that song out in the world, and I'm honestly still not happy about it. But you're happy that it made him happy in his final moments, am I right? But it helped him face his final moments yeah. with a smile, instead of sadness or fear. And I'm forever grateful I could provide that. It's like I told you before, Annette. Your songs can really help people. You know what's really weird? Like, so many of the conversations with Annette are about her songs, but the Thea is the one that's a fucking songstress. Like, they casually mention, like, her working in the opera house and stuff, but, like, it's mostly about her trying to get a man. I'm just saying, like, maybe she could have made a few songs, too. I'm sure tons more took comfort in that song, too. Including me. Whenever I'm feeling down, I just think about one of your silly songs, and I'm right back in high spirits. Wow, what do you do a backhanded compliment, Rose? Silly? Are you implying my lyrics aren't serious? See? No, never mind. I'll choose to take it as a compliment. Thank you. I would have been complimenting you, but, like, this fucking dumb broad is doing this all wrong. And hey, if my songs really help people that much, I better get to work writing lots of new ones. All right. There you go. So, what's this next one going to be about? Mm. Well, right now I'm planning to make it be about a group of friends who dig into a huge feast together. Ah, oh, that sounds like fun. They keep churning out dish after delicious dish, and everyone's faces are alight with laughter and joy. Okay. Wow. I'm getting hungry. I feel like that's going to be Raph's, Raphael's favorite song. Right? Then once all the food runs out, they go off hunting for ingredients so they can cook up some more. Uh, okay. But, uh-oh, they come across a ginormous bear and have to battle it to the death. This is just becoming a story. A death match with a bear? I thought this was supposed to be a happy song about a feast. Eh, I guess I shouldn't judge it before it's done. Just let me Yeah, know this could just finished, be her okay? process. I want to be the first in line to hear it. So you can spread it to everyone else. Yes, <laughs> of course. Nah, I'm just kidding. She's not gonna do that shit again. She learned a lesson. 
All right, let's go to Dimitri. I actually can't remember what the fuck they were talking about, so let's see. Oh. Is it tr Oh, it's her- No, I thought her and Dudu were doing the training no one. Get back. <laughs> I like this. this oh, is that was a close one. Good thing we had water nearby. Oh, my apologies. It was oh, Dimitri did it? Prior experience. Is Dimitri learning magic? Is that no, what their thing is? it was my fault for asking you to try and light it with magic. The fault is mine alone. You had no way of knowing that my aptitude for magic was so lacking. I mean, I could have predicted that. When we were lucky it only resulted in a small explosion. Had the flames spread, it easily may have proved disastrous. Aw, don't beat yourself up over it. We were able to put it out quickly, and that's all that matters. There you go. Look at the bright side. Positive spin on the matter. Still, I'm relieved you weren't hurt. Aww. I have always been abysmal at magic. My father and grandfather were the same. So. Well, considering your crust is so heavily relying on like increasing your strength and shit, like that's not a big surprise. Like unless your mom was a gifted sorceress, I feel like you're just gonna suck at magic, brah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're better suited to fighting with something sharp and pointy. Like a lance. Actually, I had a fair amount of interest in becoming a mage when I was a boy. Really? An old friend of mine would give magic demonstrations, and I always found myself terribly jealous of her abilities. Her? Who? Well, you know there's a school of sorcery in the capital, right? You definitely should have enrolled. Mm, I feel like it's at least be good at magic uh, to get in. But I knew they only accepted students yeah, who display at least yeah, a modicum Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking, too. Crowd. Every time I glimpsed one of those students, I found myself envious of their skill. I had no idea. But hey, if you're interested... Oh, they're gonna, gonna learn now. We can start right now. You would do that? Hell yeah, she would. Sure. See, I've been helping out at the school ever since I came back to the capital. Oh, that's good. A few of her, um... Endings in um, three houses. She mentions working at the school, so that's cool. And after talking with everyone there, I've been thinking it would be fun to, you know, teach somebody. Aww. I'd like to help people get better at magic, even if they're really, really, really bad at it. I don't think we needed one of those, really. A fine aspiration. Oh, wow, it's a mainstream school day. If you'll have me, I would be honored to be your first pupil. Yeah, training the king is probably going to be really high up on the resume. No, I imagine your skills can be put to use helping many people besides just myself. Yeah, maybe let all the nice learn a little bit of magic. At least healing magic. I know I am not. It's the like first learning person, first aid. Nor will I be the last to accidentally conjure up an explosion. Come on, Dimitri. It's not like I'll be that much help. Also, Mercedes could help too. But regardless, I'm confident that becoming a teacher is the path for me. Oh, all right. Right then, your majesty. Let's start by practicing some fire magic. Why they really, really? You want me to cast the same spell again? Well, I guess practice makes perfect. Fire spells are the most basic magic of all. You just let the old power build up, and then boom, let loose. Okay, all right. So start by using your hands to focus. Oh, your I really wish we could be seeing this. Like this? Don't be so hesitant. We've got plenty of water here, so really lean into it. I wasn't intending to hold back. Perhaps I could charge it up a bit. Oh, uh, there it is. Your Majesty, are you all right? Oh. Uh, I fear we may have a long road ahead of us. <laughs> I'm kind of happy. I really like that one. It's nice seeing Dimitri just like having a little bit of goop time, you know? He hardly gets to have goop time anymore. Oh, Savannah Dimitri. That'll be funny. Please, please, can it be oh, funny? Sylvain, I was hoping to ask your opinion on our recent meeting. All right. Hey, I'm always happy to talk. But if you want House Gautier's take, shouldn't you ask my father? No, nah, fuck him. I don't want House Gautier's opinion. I want yours. See? Okay. Well, we were talking about the pros and cons of incorporating commoners in the nobility, right? 
Seems to me like we got it all sorted out. Yeah, Dimitri seems like he'd be super into it, but are you super into it? I feel like you would be. Yes. The discussion primarily revolved around a single point. Whether those without crests are actually worthy of entering the nobility. And the answer is... Dot, I mean, dot, dot. If they're up to the challenge, I don't see why not. Good. That's good. It's good. like how you promoted my brother, right? Skill is what matters in the end. Indeed. And the performances of Ash and the Commander serve as proof of such. Alright, so like... First off, hey. If I'm nobility, you know what that means. I could get married to Dimitri. But Ash, oh hell yeah, he is freaking earned it. Plus, I think his, I mean, his adopted dad was a lord, so he should get that shit. Who else, who the fuck else is gonna get it, you know? Just don't get carried away, you know? Too much of a good thing and all that. I'm sure you realize what would happen to the kingdom if we lost the power of crests. We can still have crests and also people being nobility. Naturally. However, crest bloodlines are currently fading everywhere. That's also true. People such as Felix who were born with major crests are the exception in this day and age. That's true. A lot of the crest uh, wielders are actually minor crest wielders. Felix is uh, still going strong. Which means Fargus has two options if we want to retain our power. Change your ways or die trying. One, we bolster our military and promote prosperity while delicately letting the bloodline dance play out. Or two, we admit bloodlines won't last forever and create a social system that doesn't rely on inheritance. There you go. Neither one would hold up for long, but if I had to choose, I guess the first option would be the better one for the kingdom on the whole. Bolstering our military is more easily said than done. Well, Dad, yeah, because you're doing it in the middle of a goddamn war. Impoverished as our land is, it will be difficult to compete with regions of more fertile ground. Well, okay, so, you know, since you're doing this war, and you're going to be taking over Envar, you could get all that Empire uh, land shit. That should help. Hey, do you remember what I said when you talked to me about promoting my brother? Uh -huh. I told you it was important to keep up appearances while we were in the middle of a war. Right. And honestly, I don't have any real objection to the way you're running things now. Okay, where's the butt? Thank you, Sylvain. I knew you would help me sort things oh, out. I figured there was a head. butt coming, but no, he's just being supportive. That's nice. <laughs> I don't usually get into serious stuff like this, but I'm glad I could help. Such topics are not beyond your grasp, though. Your complete sincerity is a great strength. That said, you never show that side of you to any but Felix and myself. I feel like there's a reason. Although, I must admit, you were far from sincere during our academy days. <laughs> He's talking about when he used to be a whore! <laughs> uh, don't remind me. Just thinking about it makes me cringe. <gasps> Sylvain? Is this growth? Sylvain's no longer a womanizer? That's so weird! Because even... In the time skip, he was still a bit of a womanizer. He hasn't been doing it that much. Oh, is it because of me? Did I help him? Yes! If you see the error of your ways, it is not too late to mend them. Or perhaps you require one of my lectures, like Are they having this talk right outside of my bedroom? That looks like my shit. Pass. You know I've got them all memorized anyway. Got them memorized? I do hope you realize how much I rely on you, Sylvain. Aww. This is funny, but it is sweet. You have so many things I lack. You're clever and quick-witted like your father, yet- Don't. You could have just ended that with clever and quick-witted. Yeah, well, I've been jealous of your strength ever since we were kids. The strength that comes from his crest that you hate? None of us are perfect. So let us dwell no longer on our failings. I apologize for taking up so much of your time. Though I hope to have similar discussions in the future. Well, yeah, he's gonna be inheriting the house. You guys are gonna fucking rock that shit when you're older. Looking forward to it. Glad I can always speak my mind around you. Yay! Alright, we're done with those. And we still got these three. I think it's... Oh, yeah, I, I did all... So Felix and me and Felix and Dimitri. That should be it. So let's do me, Felix and me. Oh, are we fighting? He's making a run for it, Felix. Don't let him get away. Oh, we are fighting. Not a chance. He's mine. 
Oh, we got him. <laughs> nice work out there. It's a real confidence boost knowing you have my back. Aw. I could say the same for you. Now that I know your style better, I have less trouble predicting your movements. Glad to hear it. Guess you must have a pretty good read on me by now, huh? I could still kick your ass, though. <laughs> on your sword, perhaps. Hmm. There you go again. You know, I've gotten a good grasp on the way you think. He's like a cat. It's like you decide on a role for yourself, then do whatever you can to see it through. Oh, well, is it really? Yeah. Of course, the role changes depending on the situation and who's fighting beside you. Sometimes you attack, sometimes you defend. Can I just say, I know I said this before, but Felix is so handsome. Look at him. Look at his hair. Look at his outfit. He looks so good. It's incredible just how versatile you are. No need for compliments. That's simply how I was taught to be. Really? By who? Glenn. My father. Oh. He may prefer a spear or magic, but he is more than capable with a sword in his hands, too. I figured Glenn would have taught him, considering, like... Well, yeah, like, his dad uses spears and magic. Right. Makes sense it'd be Rodrigue. His weapon of choice might be different, but he adapts himself to the flow of battle just as well as you do. Probably better, actually. Burn. The style didn't start with him, though. It's something the leaders of our house have passed down throughout the ages. Oh, it's like... Oh, okay, it was taught. Like, for fathers, Darius for fathers. has been the king's lance and shield for generations. Ever since the time of Kaifen, sworn friend of the great King Lu. At times, we've been sent to defeat the crown's enemies. At others, we've held back to defend the throne. That's why you guys are the shield of Fargus. I admit the style has its uses. Idiotic history of blind faith aside. Mm. Huh. So that's why you fight the way you do. You're indispensable, Felix. Not just to Dimitri, but to everyone else, too. And it's not just because of your fighting style. <laughs> I suppose if I'm a lance and shield, you would be like some kind of projectile. An arrow or a stone. I'll take an arrow. I'm gonna, uh, set the compliment. Well, you're saying I'm good at taking the enemy by surprise, right? You sure could learn to be more direct with your compliments, you know. Ha! You can interpret it that way if you want. In any case, you're just as important to this army as I am. Hell yeah, I am. And soon I'm gonna be a bit more important when I get that crown. Between that sword of yours and the way you can shapeshift, nobody ever knows what you'll do next. Shapeshift? You talking about my awakening form? Some might say your powers are dangerous, but I think they provide the perfect element of surprise. Huh. Glad to hear you say so. There's one fault I can't get past, though. You can never stay focused during battle. Seriously? It's almost like you're talking to someone while you fight. <gasps> someone in your head that... <laughs> hey, what's with a smile? Ooh, that's so weird. Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm just really happy we've gotten to know each other so well. I mean, she, it's not like she can tell them, like, hey, I'm actually talking to this weirdo that lives in my head. Well, like, that wouldn't go well. Be that open with her criticism. Thanks, Felix. <sighs> Say what you will. That's the last piece of advice I'm she ever Look at him getting all pissed off because she was nice to him. Like a cat. He wasn't really mad, was he? It's so hard to tell sometimes. No, he was just flustered because he likes you. He can't be with you because you're with Dimitri. All right, these are the last ones. Let's do it. Oh, are they in the kitchen? How long are you going to keep staring blankly like an idiot? They are. You should eat. <laughs> you're right. My apologies. Don't be a dick. Let me guess, you're in a tizzy about how best to make use of the church's forces. Or maybe you're just worried about how our forces will survive the winter. Oh, is it almost winter? Or That's gonna suck. Off. A good leader knows when to let their vassals do the worrying for them. I mean, he should still worry a little bit. Is that why you left your uncle in charge of House Fraldarius? The uncle that we never met, which I yes. really want to meet. Though I've been returning to the territory the moment any issues arise with his governance. Yeah, that sounds like you don't trust him to take care of shit. And your mother? Is she in good health? I imagine it's difficult to manage all the family squabbles on her own. Oh, she's fine. 
She's good at that sort of thing. I actually think she likes it. <laughs> I suggest you focus on your own issues for once, instead of worrying about everyone else. I'm not sure that's possible. Oh, but that does remind me. I hear the knights wanted to hold a joint training session. With the mages? <sighs> Forget it. You'll never change. Hey, it's a good thing. I could tell you to stop brooding so much, but I'd be wasting my breath. He looks really worried, though. He's not just being a dick. to lose this war, Felix. I must protect the kingdom. I must avenge the fallen. Don't say that, Dimitri. You were like, I'm like so worried that like eventually Dimitri's gonna be like, you know, like unleash the beast. As cringe as that sounds. Each day, we draw ever closer to those who pulled the actual strings. I've already punished any who knew of the plan and did nothing. As well as a number of middle rank conspirators. But, but it isn't enough. There are still those who must answer for this crime with their lives. And we're gonna get to them. You are a book with one chapter and no ending. <gasps> what will you do when you actually have this revenge of yours? Holy fuck. I think that is my favorite insult I've ever heard. That is so good. It is so good. Damn, I can never use that in real life. That is such a good fucking insult. I don't know. But if I can quell their grief and their hate, it will be enough. <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't get over how good that fucking line was. Do you hate me, Felix? Oh, who cares if he does? I don't. After all, uh, I saw Glenn die. I watched it and could do nothing. His end lies on my shoulders. You were 13! That's enough. I don't hate you, okay? You weren't responsible for any of that. I wonder, though, because, like, okay, remember that, like, Felix really was pissed off and, like, hated Dimitri during the Academy days. I wonder if Dimitri took that as him being mad about Glenn's death and not the, you know, rage murder boner phrase he was going through. They didn't die for your sake. They made their own choices of their own free will. Don't be so conceited. Damn, look at that again. They didn't want to die. Yet they did so to protect me. Me. I am undeserving of such sacrifice. I told you to quit brooding and eat. Your food's going to rot if you Yeah, he's getting water. more and more pissed off. Yes, of course. So that didn't end well. I mean, we still got one more to go for them, so it can get better. I think mean, that's it. Yeah, that's it! Yay! That means we can do this!